Okay. Hello, guys. Thank you for joining our live session today. Um, today, we have a, we're going to have a very interesting session with our guest speaker today. So a little bit about this talk show. If you have been uh, following my live sessions for a few weeks already from, from now, uh, this is a live stream, uh, this is a live show where I will be interviewing successful individuals who are successful in terms of their business, career and life. And I have, uh, so far, I have interviewed many interesting people from various industries doing various kinds of stuff and they all have incredible stories. And today we're going to have someone uh, who is who has, again, the, uh, an incredible story. Everyone I bring in have incredible, incredible stories. So today we're going to have uh, the founder and the current, uh, the founder of Chess Master Journey, Sindriyan Brahad, Mr. Genge Swaran with us. So he's having some small troubles to join our live session today because uh, he has some obstacles. His electricity just went off like that in the house. So he's finding some struggles. He will join our live session in, in another two or three minutes. So please bear with me um, until then. If you are watching uh, our live session now, please do comment something. Say hi to me. Um, you can say it from where you are watching or how did you get to know about this live show? Uh, and everything you can comment you can give a comment right now i would love to interact with you guys until our guest speaker joined today so um jen is um jen is a founder and founder of chess master journey and he also the bronze medalist at 2013 sea games um, he represent malaysia and make all of us proud uh, in terms of playing chess and everything so he have um he have achieved so many things in his life and how his story from how he's just a normal individual who is you know just working in a factory to become a bronze medalist in sea games you know bringing malicious name up and also having his own company uh, right now and also contributing back to society at the same time is very uh, nice to say it's very nice to see and everything so and that incredible story actually earned him a place to share his experience in the Dare to Live conference that is going to happen next month. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys a little bit uh, of information about the Dare to Live conference until our guest speaker comes to the live session. Um, so there will be, in the Dare to Live conference, you can see Jan is in the second row, second picture, Genghis Swaran Munian. And um, that's, that picture has been taken right after he won the bronze medal for Malaysia. And uh, it's a very, um, it's a very, proud movement for all of us in Malaysia and everything. So in the Dare to Live conference, we have 25 speakers from various industries who are going to share various uh, experiences in their life, the lesson that they have learned uh, over their life. And I think we have interviewed many people who are speaking in this conference in our live session. For example, we have Valsala Krishnan who have talked about uh, happiness, going to talk about happiness and relationship in the conference. Then we have interviewed Kalevani who are going to talk about parenting. And we have interviewed Agnes, who is uh, going to talk about moving her career online and everything. So um, we are very honored to have Jen as our guest speaker today and also as a speaker at the Dare to Leave conference as well. So please give me a few minutes until uh, our guest speaker comes to the session. So please bear with me. Uh, we have some comments. Hi, I'm from Kuala Lumpur. Hello, thank you. Hello, Stephen. Hello, guys from Klang. Oh, okay, from Klang. Fun fact, our guest speaker is also from Klang. Uh, don't go ambush him after this. <laughs> He's also from Clang. So um, let me just give him a quick test about where is, where is he right now. You probably have some difficulties. So please do bear with us. If you're watching this session, please do share it out with your friends so that they also can know about uh, Jen's story and uh, how does he as build his career from just a normal person who is working in a factory to someone who is res very respectable in Malaysia right now. So hello, thank you guys. And your names all I only can see as a Facebook user because I think you haven't give the access to stream yet. There'll be a link where you can give the access where then I can actually see your name. So cheers from Polobu. Oh, I have no idea where is this. Okay, that's nice. Many people from different areas are joining us. Hi brother, hello, thank you for calling me brother. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Um, please do give me a few seconds, I will uh, bring in the guest speakers, uh, our guest speaker today, Mr. Jen. This is going to be a very interesting session. So many obstacles to bring in our guest speaker. His, his electricity went off and he find a place to sit down and do the live session and then his laptop making some problems. I think it's going to be a very, very interesting session. 
So thank you guys for bearing with me. Thank you very, very much. If you have any questions for our speaker, our speaker, speaker Jen, you can chat it. You can uh, tell me in the live session, in the live session, in the comment box, so I can ask him when he comes to the screen. Okay. So do hold on for a while. Hello guys, I'm back. Sorry for the trouble. I just give a call to our guest speaker. Uh, he's figuring it out how to go live uh, in StreamYard. So I think he figured out already. He will be. Uh, he will join us in another one or two more minutes. So please do please bear with us. And problems needed to excel. Yes, really. I, I truly believe in that. Meanwhile, I have some interesting pictures to show you guys about Kenges Farid. So maybe you can, you can uh, have a look at it and you can see how successful he is and everything. So this is the picture of uh, Jen when he actually flew to, uh, when he actually went to play for Malaysia in SEA Games. So this is the picture that we have. And Genghis Farid has given a lot of talks to many schools. Uh, many events uh, sharing about his incredible story. So I'm very, very honored to have him today with us. And this is a picture of when Jen actually become a speaker at the Dare to Live conference. This is our first ever Dare to Live conference where he shared the stage with Edward uh, and also Saranjit. They are also very successful individuals in their life um, where they're sharing their experience in the Dare to Live conference as well. So we have uh, Jen here today. I think he's here. Uh, just give me a minute. He will be ready to go live. For so those of you all still watching, I'm really, really thankful for you guys. I'm really sorry. We never expect this to happen. The electricity to went off like that. So um, thank you for still watching our live stream and everything. So thank you very much. And please do wait a little. Please do give us a little bit more time. And I will extend this live session a bit more so that uh, Jen can share all the things that he has to share. So thank you very much, guys. Hello. Hello. Yes, many people saying hello to me. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Please do hold on for a while, guys. Please do give me. I'm so sorry for the obstacles and everything. Really sorry.
Hello guys, we are back. I'm so sorry for all the inconvenience. Uh, it's been a very much obstacle for us to do this live session, but we have our guest speaker with us here today already. I'm so sorry. We're supposed to start the session at one o'clock, but it's one twenty. But I think it's nice. But I think, I think it's fine. Uh, somebody just said that we need the problem to excel in our life. So these are small obstacles that we face that uh, make us, you know, test our emotions. We have run a, a live session about, uh, you know how to handle your emotions using SIP and everything. This is a real test of my SIP because I actually went live ready, but I cannot find my guest speaker. So it's, it's a nice uh, problem. Uh, I'm going to welcome our guest speaker now to the stream. So uh, one, two, three. Hello, Hello. Jen. Hello, hi. <laughs> I, yes, I Jen. Am... Yes, <laughs> we can First finally I... hear you, Jen. Okay, first I will say sorry to for everyone. We are waiting from one o'clock until one twenty-three. Okay, yes. I'm. Then your voice is I, a bit slower. Can uh, hold the mic a bit. Please, right? Okay. The mic. You are wearing here for right? Okay yeah. now. Yes. Is better. Okay now. All right. Ah, I would like to say sorry to everyone. Those are waiting from one o'clock until one twenty-three. Now it's really got uh, some big obstacle. I'll be. <laughs> uh going through today and uh, again we'll be, before we start our section i think i'll be say sorry again to everyone actually it's okay then it's okay no problem i think our audience are very patient today they, they have waited for us they have been looking at my face for the past 23 minutes and they are still okay with it so thank you everyone for joining us uh i think your students are also joining tenmali uh and a lot of people are joining thank you guys for joining us today so Yes, welcome, Jen. Thank you for coming in my show. I'm really, really honored to have you in my show. So I think without any further ado, we can we can start our session. So okay. uh, our topic for today is innovation during crisis. And uh, before we move on to like you know actually telling how did you make this you know turn this crisis, which is COVID nineteen, that impacted your business a lot, like almost make your income zero, to an mm. opportunity that's growing your business. Like you are now going into different places like you are in a different league now because of this so before we go into that i would like to know a little bit about your story because many people knows you but they don't know about who you are uh what are the things that you have done and everything and i think people should know about that so um before you actually venture into chess master journey or you before even you know that you can you can play chess or teach chess what were you doing jen uh basically i was a normal uh like ordinary uh people like uh, just uh, after my study, my, after my SPM, I just went to work and work for the um, normal routine of life, like eight to five, and then uh, get uh, extra salary by doing overtime. So this is our no, uh, my normal routine during past before I meet uh, my master. Mentor. Yeah, my master Elengo and uh, Miss Ko actually. So okay. uh, after that. Uh, uh, that's what took place uh, <laughs> until I didn't uh, I, until I uh, not meeting them actually. Um, so what is a normal uh, ordinary will be do like a very simple. You go to work and then come back, and uh, after that will be like a Saturday Sunday is a party, and uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a party time. And then uh, the journey will be going on like uh, just uh, it's it's normal. It's a it's uh, a normal journey where people like work until friday then wait for friday so that you can have party happy and saturday, everything. Sunday. <laughs> saturday sunday and then go back to the normal routine again, normal routine again yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay it's, a, it's before like a year 2000 uh before i meet uh, ilango before the, the year 2004. i think i'm still in primary school at that point of time <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay, uh, um, our audience, if you're watching, if you have any questions for Jen, please do ask and also share this live session so that many people can see as well. If you can hear us properly uh, without any obstacles, please do tell us as well. So Jen, so you are just a normal, ordinary person who is working in a factory. And, okay. um, you know, you, we cannot see like from where this chess thing comes about. Like, um, how did this chess passion, like, you know, this career started for you? Okay, that's a nice question, actually. Uh, that is uh, my turning point. Um, once the last of the one of the factory I was work is, uh, I, I cannot mention the factory name, but uh, okay. um, 
So uh, from there, the factory was sending us to be uh, one of the biocybernetic training. That duration, I was meeting my mentor. And uh, from there, uh, there, is a, there is a two section, uh, which is called now, um, um, what is it? OK, it's OK. Uh, previously, it's a bio cybernetic program. So okay. the the program is like um, two days, two days program and a ten months follow up workshop, which is also currently uh, run uh, in our team in the ETID team now. Huh? Is it? Uh, so basically, that uh, program suppose my manager should attend, but he he gave me chance to me attend the, the training. I went for the training. Very simple. I I still share with our our group uh, like uh, ETIDS members. Uh, uh, the first day I go to the program because I want to taste a different kind of food only for that. Yeah, that's uh, okay. to test to uh, to eat nice food. That's only my intention to go to the program. So I also went there and uh, the two days program is was very interesting. But uh, I say interesting, even though I say interesting, I didn't learn anything. I only learned one thing which is one word, one key word, which is uh, be a truthful, be a truthful. It's not that easy, but I was started from there. And uh, before I, I joined, before I, I, I attend the training program, I don't know what's meaning of truthful, actually. I was thinking truthful is uh, some other meaning. Then only I know when we are with the truthful meaning, we are attached with the truthful. And then I realized um, when, when mentor say, I didn't know what's the meaning of truthful, and I realized personally, I was realized um, when we are truthful, the surrounding people will be less. Uh, that, 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 that start from there. My surrounding people already less when I'm truthful because um, yeah, it's happened. I think uh, most of your life also happened when you are truthful. The people, uh, the same wife will be less. Then we will be moving toward a different wife. Yeah. People which is going to help our goals. Mm. I think I think what you say is true, Jen. I mean, we we all know about need to be truthful. You need to tell truth to people and everything. But uh, we don't really do that most of the time uh, because we don't know what the real meaning of being truthful is. I also have no idea. I thought I'm a very truthful person. I will just tell it out to people, whatever that comes to me and everything. But when I actually you know uh, know about ET ideas and being truthful. And everything that's when i realized truthful have a different level of truthfulness and how do you need to be truthful and you need to be truthful in terms of your thoughts words and action uh, words and action is a bit easy but whatever that is running in our thoughts to be truthful about it is very very difficult but very, the very moment good. we be truthful to our thoughts as well that's when we actually grow uh, that's very nice Sherry. so um, like, uh, when when we are truthful like the the, the, the our friends will be go on because it's a uh, like the root for them actually the word will be root for them because we say don't like don't like i was doing yes i'm doing uh, nothing is wrong let's say i, I break, break i do something wrong i admit i, I do something wrong it's, it's a truthful actually but some people look like the word is harsh for them actually <laughs> Yeah. Okay, okay, it's okay. Uh, so what you say it is um, when you become truthful, your circle is also start to reduce because um, because now you're being truthful, and <laughs> you will attract people who are you know also truthful and also very aligned to your goal, the goal that you have set. So yeah, right. Yeah, right. Um, okay, so you have joined this program because your manager asked to go, and you went there because you don't want to learn anything. You just wanted to earn. You just wanted to eat different kind of foods. That's yeah, it. <laughs> and from there, you learned about truthful. So of, this one is one thing. Yeah. Yeah, Steven, uh, of course, the, the, the drop, uh, SPM dropout student, uh, what they can do, even <laughs> I, I don't know how to speak the proper English, even I don't know how to be like, uh, communicate with the uh, others. So what I can do, I just go for it. That's all. <laughs> then, but in a journey, I was learning many things. In a journey, I was, man, I was learning many things. It was teach also by my mentor. Okay, so now you have entered, uh, now you have joined the Be The Best program and you learned something very interesting for you, which is truthful and you're applying it and you're doing something in your life, which is okay because you're focusing on yourself right now, uh, developing your truthfulness, your own happiness and everything. <laughs> so after that, where this chess comes, you know, where, 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 how does the chess emerge from you? Okay, after I attend the two days program, 10 month workshop, follow up workshop, 
also flow with them, um, uh, flow with them, and then suddenly another choice was come to us, which is a, a personal training by mentor. And that duration, I was uh, meeting him, um, me and my wife uh, now, Salvi. Uh, we meeting him or oh, once uh, first the initial the program, and he was asking me uh, like, what is the uh, uh, things you want to do in your life? I think uh, uh, three times I uh, we I just went to see him. I just come out. I see him and come out. Okay, and uh, I think my wife already decided what to want to do. She already explained to mentor. But myself uh, again, I was telling I was a STM dropout. I don't know what to do with that. I only know it's a working career is uh, is the best for my life. So uh, three times went to come out, and then one day uh, suddenly, even Miss Go was entered during our conversation. She was asking, your mentors, la. yeah. She was telling like, uh, oh, Jed, what you will be do during the um, uh, free time? Uh, that's make me sense. So I was telling my free time is like I'm playing football, I play badminton, I play chess. These are the things I'll be doing. And this is make me happy. Uh, this uh, circumstance, uh, like these are the things make me happy. I'm doing that. And suddenly, Ms. Go and then Ilungo was uh, telling to me, like, uh, why not? Yeah, you just teach uh, kids to play chess. Teach kids how to play chess. Yes. So from... <laughs> So, so it just comes from just one conversation where somebody just asks you what you will do at your free time. Yes. And <laughs> that's now become an empire that you built for other people as well. That's very interesting. And for the audience that are watching right now, I would like to ask you guys a question. What do you guys will do in free time? And have you guys ever thought about making that as your career? Um, it's a very interesting question, Jen, because uh, many of us have a skill that we, do, um, that we don't even know that it could become an actual career that could earn you money because you have been playing chess. I think you have been playing chess for some time, right? Before that also. Yeah, right. yeah. I was started to play when I'm 10 years old. I also See? got represent. I also yeah. represent for the school, represent for the district. After that, actually, I don't have idea. I don't know what's going on after that. And until I meet my mentor. Okay. Ah. It's, a, it's a small skill that you have since when you're very, very young and you have never thought about actually making it as your career or anything. And you mm. are just there as a skill that you have and everything. And until somebody, the right people comes to you and started to guide you, then only you, the thing that, you know, the passion comes towards you again. The small skill that you have since you're very young become your career. Right. That's very nice sharing, uh, Jen, because I also, something like that, I, I love to talk to people since I'm young. And look at me, I'm talking to everybody right now in Facebook. I never thought this will happen in my life yes. that I'm going to do this. But uh, yeah, what you say, it really makes sense. So after you know that, okay, you are, uh, you know, going to play chess, you tell them really what uh, you, you like chess and everything. What happened after that? Wow, that is another big story I should share. I don't know whether I can share by... A few minutes. Very short. Uh, me, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a very long story. Let me uh, make it shorter. Um, after I tell to, I mean, uh, we have a conversation. After the conversation finished, uh, the, by next week, the things are ready. Like what kind of things? The chessboard ready, and uh, the twenty chessboard is already ready for me. And I also asking the mentor who's like uh, doing. I mean, sponsor the this. He did. Until now, I don't know. Even though until now, I don't know who's sponsoring. And um, what I do is already giving me 20 chess board. I was went back, bring back the board. I was started to teach uh, chess in uh, my estate, which is I born. It's called Carry Island. So I was uh, teaching chess for the kids over there. And after that, um, no, I, even though I teaching chess, my old habitual is written back to the uh, call. Energy returned back to the source, right? My old habitual pattern also returned back to the source. What kind of source? Like um, I, I was doing even though I teaching, I was doing still doing work, and then still expected my my overtime to be extra income. I work, and then I make it the extra overtime is extra income for for me. You uh, never treated the teaching chess as an extra income or something. You just I, go I, back I, to the normal I, routine again. I didn't believe that moment. I didn't believe that moment, actually. Okay. That's the correct word. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Because 
normal ordinary of ordinary people I, i think own belief in himself until see the value actually until see the value by my mentor was a very patiently guide me until i i until today until today patiently guide me until today so i i got the a, a, a nice such a person actually okay so belief that's very true then because uh, when we start something right we we actually very excited at the beginning and we go all out and do but like what you said when you doesn't see the result after some time you stop believing in your goals stop believing in yourself and your passion and that's when many people give up and go back to the normal routine again so uh, so you also were doing the same thing which is you go to the normal routine then what happened okay then uh, then uh, on, uh, until I, i think he was a teaching i think i just go through every month and we meeting one month one time that time that duration one month one time and then i i, I was going and tell uh, okay teacher i was uh, build my module and then i still keep the first module i i i, I was designed the module actually so i was going to tell okay i designed this i was started like this but actually i only do in a week one time in because of he already bought me the chest set uh, so i need to do it uh, it, it yeah <laughs> just do the thing of it yeah. <laughs> something already reserved from someone and then i need to be like uh, satisfied not satisfy myself but during that time uh, satisfy the people are uh, 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 be, be with me actually so i always like uh, not believe in myself i was looking at people what uh, they already bought the thing what they think uh, if i didn't do anything at uh, that time that particular time okay so and what happened uh, after that i was keep telling like one month two month three months is going until uh, six months something okay and suddenly he was uh, putting me like uh, okay uh, now you travel i don't have a student enough now you travel to tropicana which is uh, one of the our our friends and then our eti ideas member too mr ganesan place and i was uh, teaching over there and also i was uh, traveling and i didn't make any income is is minus from the my my salary actually oh, and like i was teaching you're doing something for extra income but the income is not coming not you need coming. to spend more actually yeah i need <laughs> to spend more okay. and suddenly he was talking look uh, again back to the uh, mentor and tell us tell him uh, like uh, oh uh, i just do it but there's no income coming it's only go extra and he mm. was telling like uh, oh you think this is a problem of money i even he, he tell or he he is feel of mine is really problem of money i i thinking like is money over there don't don't enough money what i want to do like i feel like want to quick because better i can do extra again my mentality will be go back to old pattern can do the overtime extra i still can earn extra actually over there mm. and uh, if this is a problem and what he, he did he was putting me another beautiful place which is called tropicana golf resort and he was putting over there then only i realized something is big things i need to be think in the old month my salary is a 1200 but last time last time yeah, normal working time. salary yeah working salary 1200 okay. and he was putting me like a golf resort and i was teaching i think i only teach around 7 of below 5 students only 4 hours which is every sunday 1 hour 2 hour sunday 4 eh? hours and then i can earn 1000 <laughs> okay so very very different and uh, can you see the difference like uh, the 1200 but i working 8 to 5 the my basic for 30 days for 30 days one month eh? and suddenly he put me in a different place which is uh, um drop uh, the resort and i can only work for hours i can earn that money <laughs> then myself start to realize it's not about the money it's about the value of myself where i want to keep the value where i want to keep my value actually it's about me other work in a factory 8 hours my value or go and do the the things i love to do that duration uh so it's a big changes i think i already explained what i i gain in my life yes so when when you when you did something like you know at the beginning when you first wanted to start something new it's very difficult 
because you don't want to do we don't want to do that because you're all this life you're following some certain system certain routine and now something comes and catch out you to do that routine and so even though you're doing that you're still going back to your normal uh, routine which is like you know go to work earn some extra income and everything you st- when you start playing chess also you don't see the value of it like how it can actually bring you to places how you can actually earn more by focusing on your passion and everything so you thought money is the problem but after some time when your money can be earned easily by using your passion you realize money is not the problem you are the problem yes, and you start I'm the one problem <laughs> and you slowly started to work on your passion uh, until then right you're still working at that point of time you haven't quit your job you're still work, working and also having a family and um, doing chess also right yes yes that moment yes i am i'm doing that actually okay okay so that's when you actually realize you can make it as your full time career chess i think and from there you started to teach more and more and more people until you started chess master journey am i correct 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 from then then only he was teaching other things also by mentor he was saying like whatever i earn from the money i was a uh, uh, i was a taking 20% put on the saving and then 80% put myself to be upgrade like getting extra knowledge so he also thought by him so basically most of the time uh, uh, there's a other opposite way it's work opposite way make majority will be earned and then keep 80% 20% for, for the knowledge but uh, he t- he guide me like uh, 20% only go for the for starting growing 20% for the your know, maybe it's a little saving for you but 80% to to upgrade yourself and uh, i was meeting some better player and play better with them players. i think uh, okay. so you always wanted to go to the next level and that's why you are keep practicing and trust me guys jen is very very passionate about chess where if you let him sit alone in a place you will open up the chess board he will play chess by himself no matter what the place i will show you a picture to a example okay can you see is a mama shop and they are actually playing chess so they just don't care what the place is if they feel bored they will just open up and play chess because they like that they love that and they keep doing it and they won't feel bored or, or anything so and when you keep practicing and practicing that's when you become you know when you participate you are participated in the sea games 2013 and won the bronze medal for malaysia right yeah yeah yes yes, yes. that is after, after that, you become celebrity la malaysia <laughs> <laughs> yeah after there is a uh, there is a hard work from i think from the uh, starting my hobby become a career from career i just work hard like uh, uh, what i say like 80% i was putting for myself to be grow and will be take around uh, 7 to 8 years to reach uh, 2000 uh, so by the time you already you know doing chess full time build your career and everything right correct correct so come to the important question we only have few more minutes so okay. after that after the chess and everything you become bronze medalist and everything you started to teach more people which is you approach schools and in klang valley to have a class with you and mm-hmm. in few years time until 2019 uh, before the pandemic you already you know covered the, most of the schools in klang valley teaching them how to play chess we have a little picture to show that so this is one of the school that you are teaching chess right correct so you are going to the schools physically to do the classes teach them because they are kids they cannot sit down in the computer and do the classes and everything so you are teaching them physically on how to do and everything after that there is a big problem comes to you which is covid-19 and yeah, um, march, yeah you started march. this as a one person you know but now you have a team of people and now you need to feed the team you need to give salaries to them not only you now you mm. take care of the people around you that's a mm. very big crisis you know jen when your income mm. is totally zero by the pandemic how mm. did you survive from there how did you actually what the innovation thing that you did okay again uh, before that i think 2 years back i think before the 2019 uh, two years back my mentor already started to me uh, tell this what you need to go into online you need to go to into internet you need to you mean go two years prior to actually the covid the yeah, covid 19 okay, okay. really started to me like uh, go into different uh, prosthetic or or china so i again 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 we are still learning i i, I just want to be oh, no need is not going to be happen something is uh, okay like a comfort zone uh, basically it's a comfort zone i'm okay with this 
okay why should i do move on to next but i we already started that duration was the, like one line chat but it's one month one time actually one month is only one time mm. so uh when the pandemic start uh that is a big uh, crash it says for everyone it's, and we we started like online that time desperately desperately because mm. uh yeah this is the one we started before yeah, that chess. yeah fifa chess before uh, like but is one 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 uh we still continue that and also now after this uh, like we started to be uh, move on to be uh, online so again that duration is not that easy because we also looking all the uh, um um sources uh, all the get, uh, things to be done according to uh, the online requirement so we started with a normal demo board and then uh, can see the picture we started with that and we move on to the upgrade level and now i think is much more better the student can be touch the pieces from the monitor mm-hmm. monitor them themselves they need to move on from the uh, any places only they can see it any way they like and then they can play chess until we we also learning from the kids together how to be make them fun how to make them to improve uh so so it is from something which is uh, uh, not to be possible it's make a possible but it's already explained my mentor by two years back and uh, now everything is order is going on smoothly actually it was ordered smoothly and uh, our our entire team also worked together our our team was worked together uh in the this pandemic and we are growing Okay, so from you know from already you have a chess team and everything. You guys are even grown more during the pandemic time, because um, I think before um, before the pandemic itself, somebody has notified you. The mentors in ETIDS have notified you to bring certain part of your business online. So you are starting a little bit about that, uh, like you know doing some action, taking some actions and everything. And when the pandemic hit, like you know when the income is zero, that's when you take the action very quickly. Like actually taking the real efforts desperately. desperately because if you didn't do your income is zero and your team is going to die. Yeah, the company might collapse. And yeah, what yeah. you did is you you uh, find a way to how to go online and you learn from the students as well. Not only like you find as well, you find from the students how to improve and everything. And from there you have gained a lot of opportunities, right, Jen? Like yes, um, yes. you actually came out like you know actually organized competition with the KPM's approval, KPM approval, Commonwealth and Pandit Malaysia's approval to do the chess competition with people. Yeah. It's Even actually previous- brought you an opportunity, right? Yeah, yeah. Even previously, we was doing the same tournament, but uh, that duration we only can get at around uh, under fifty and two hundred uh, student and physical the competition. Go, uh, uh, but it's a live tournament. Uh. Um, even the the first pandemic when they started, we started uh, like the KPM tournament. and that duration only we got under student and then the slowly will be under 50 but now we can say it's more than 400 and actually that's why we say uh, the opportunity is there and then uh, the people surrounding still need to be guide them need to be teach them and make them awareness i think they'll be no and the 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 thing is now everybody was uh, thinking online is not a good platform now but actually we already move on actually so the <laughs> kids are like now okay and you also during the pandemic time and the mco was lifted the first time you actually went to different different states to meet the headmasters from different different schools to build the relationship right yes yes but Where this idea comes then <laughs> okay yeah, i don't know it's like a, it's a, during this uh, pandemic uh, previously we need to travel we need to travel and meet people right now this uh, um now we got uh, other platform like a google meet we got a zoom we got a things and no need to travel we can meet them and then we can tell them what's the idea we got actually so that uh, uh, way that's way uh, we are improving and then we move on previously we only teach in a clang value now we are move on to all the states all and the also states. all the states actually and then also previously we just do the tournament on the in the clang value of students now we are reaching all the 14 state and our tournament is the 14 state student are taking part for the national oh. event 
Okay, that's very nice actually. I think that's something very innovative that you did. You you, you didn't like you know just stay there, um, wait for the pandemic to go away or anything. You took the action to go online and you went even one step further. Where uh, now you can not only meet the people from you know around Klang Valley, you can meet people from different different states. Mm. So and people are ready for that right now. Last time yeah. they're not ready. They are ready yeah. for that right now. So mm. you went to meet different different headmasters in different different places in online, and mm. you and you make friends with them, and yeah. when you do a competition with the KPM's approval, now they they were like sending their students because now you make a friend with the headmasters themselves, and yeah. they know you, they know how good you are in chess, and mm. whenever you open up a tournament, they are ready to send their kids to you. So. Yeah. Um, that's really interesting. We have some one nice question uh, I wanted to ask you. Uh, this asked by some audience. Uh, maybe we can finish it off by uh, uh, telling this, answering this question. What push you to come out of your comfort zone after a very long time? Oh, okay. What uh, actually is um, goals? Our goal setting. Our goal setting, like. Uh, um, how to say mm. okay it's even one more time the question let me read again okay okay can can i show you the question where is this question okay what push you to come out of your comfort zone after a long time comfort zone. Okay. yeah because you were in a comfort zone last time during your okay, okay. Uh, working I period that. and then you drag yourself to do the chess and after some time building the chess company to a different level with people and everything ready, you are still at, you are at the comfort zone already again. And moving online is something very difficult for you. It's your comfort zone, and now you need to do something else also that very uncomfortable. How did you adapt to it? How did what pushed you? Okay, very good. Actually, it's not like if he, if he let me, I, with that duration, I think it will be more comfort zone. I will keep my life in a normal routine. Uh, the there's a someone need to be knock us knock knock our head and then tell there is a something you can do better. So in that terms, I was meet the ET ideas team actually. So my comfort zone break and then I was push myself after betterment and because of the my circle was changing, my circle was changing. Uh, then only I was moving toward my goals. Previously, I don't have any goal setting, and I should have. A, goal setting if we don't have a goal setting i don't think so people are just with a comfort zone will be will be in the same comfort zone actually we don't want to go anywhere we are in anyway, the comfort zone. there's no direction we don't have a direction we don't mm. know where to we, we don't know where's the destination actually we just will be be there so for me someone knock my head and close with me and then guide me until now until now and uh, i don't know some people maybe don't need the the, the help from others but for me, net need someone guide until further. I need to be success. Okay, so to come out of your comfort zone, first you need to have a goal, and yeah. second you need to have the right people to guide you and the right people and the right environment to be with you, and that yeah. is what we are actually providing in ETI this platform. Not mm -hmm. only Jen, uh, we have uh, 25 amazing mentors from ETI Ideas here uh, who are going to share about how did they have come out from their comfort zone and how did they start taking the first step action and everything and how did they have grown until right now. Jen have someone who is closely guided him to develop until right now. And we have many, we started from one person and now we have 53 associates in ETI Ideas who are very successful and they are all our mentors. And Jen is one of the mentors uh, in ETIS, where he's now mentoring other people on how they can do oh. better in their career and everything. And he has built many, many people up in the chess field, actually. And many people that he has guided have won a lot of awards and represent Malaysia and everything, where they make the name proud as well. So uh, during the uh, uh, Jen will be speaking in the Dare to Live conference together with other 25 speakers who have come out of their comfort zone the, um, you cannot if you don't you know, you know sometimes you need to go find the environment right now the environment is coming to you in the form of the head to leave conference 25 amazing speakers for the next for two days 13 and 14 and the conference is going to be 650 ringgit but um right now we have some sponsorship courtesy of chess master jenny we only giving the, uh, the conference for 150 ringgit only for 25 speakers you are paying 150 ringgit to uh, get to know their experience is a real bargain 
So uh, if you guys wanted to know more about it, you can always contact me. I will put my number below there. And we have many people saying it's a very good sharing, practice makes perfect, perfect, makes perfect and everything. Thank you for your time, Jen. Even though there is a lot of obstacles, you have given us a lot of interesting uh, uh, points for us to take away from here today. Uh, but just a simple one, if I want to wrap it up, everything is first you said, um, in, uh, what is your free time, what you will do in your free time? What makes you happy during your free time? What do you do? Some people listen to songs, but what else? You know, what else? Listening to song is nice, but maybe you can do something in the song industry as well. You don't have to be a singer, you don't have to be a writer, but there are something out there that you can do. That is why you like to do that. Just like Jen, you like to play chess and you build it as a career, something that you do at your free time. So check for that. And the second thing is money is not the problem. Ourself, me, ourself is the problem, the main problem. And um, if we can handle ourselves better, we can do a lot of things in a different place, uh, at, at a very different pace. So then the third one is you need to come out from the comfort zone. And how to have a comfort zone? You need, you need to come out from the comfort zone. You need to have the right people to guide you and also the right goal setting for you to move forward, attract the people towards you. And you need to work hard. Once you know something, you need to work hard. That's how you got all the fame, uh, the, the name that you need and everything. That. And you always need to keep improving, moving, learn from the people around you, like just like how Jen learned from his students and move online. So thank you, Jen. Thank you very, very much for being here today. So many obstacles, but I think it's a very nice sharing. Thank you, oh, Jen. Thank you for having us today. You want to say any last word for us to finish this session? Yeah, I want to say like our youngsters, especially youngsters, I think the, the world belong to you. So you can move in forward and... Uh, Rather than look for the, uh, rather than just for asking questions, uh, I think the solution is there. When we go to solution, I think we can do betterment for the world. Not only for them, it's betterment for the world. So solution, solution is there. Uh, everything got solution. Look for the solution. Uh, especially nice. youngsters. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. The question is there, but the solution is already there. So already there. The before the question. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jen. Thank you for having us. Uh, thank you guys for joining, and uh, hope you guys had a nice uh, session today. And um, have a nice day. Hope you guys can join the Dead Relief Conference. I'll put my link there so you guys can contact me. So thank you very much. Thank you very much to everyone too.